In early December, scientists made a rare observation of an object that didn't originate in our solar system. Using ESA's XMM Newton Space Telescope, astronomers detected interstellar comet 3I Atlas emitting X-rays as it passed through interplanetary space. This kind of observation is uncommon and offers a new way to study the composition of material formed around other stars. The data adds an important layer to ongoing efforts to understand how interstellar objects behave and what they're made of. In this video, we will explain what XMM Newton observed, why X-rays matter, and what this could mean for interstellar science. Let's get started. Comet 3I Atlas was identified earlier this year after astronomers noticed its unusually high speed and trajectory. Unlike most comets, which are bound to the Sun and return on predictable orbits, this object is moving through the solar system on a one-time path. Its trajectory shows that it originated beyond the Sun's gravitational influence, likely forming around another star before being ejected into interstellar space. On December 3rd, the European Space Agency's XMM Newton X-ray Observatory was directed toward the comet for nearly 20 hours. At the time, the comet was roughly 280 million kilometers from the spacecraft. The observation relied on XMM Newton's EPICPN camera, the observatory's most sensitive detector for low-energy X-rays. The data revealed a faint but distinct region of X-ray emission surrounding the comet. In the processed image, areas with very few detected X-rays appear blue, while the region around the comet appears red, indicating enhanced emission. This glow does not come from reflected sunlight or internal heat. Instead, it forms in the comet's coma. The cloud of gas released as solar heating causes volatile materials to escape from the nucleus. When these neutral gas molecules encounter the solar wind, a continuous stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun, a process known as charge exchange occurs. During this interaction, electrons are transferred between particles, releasing energy in the form of X-rays. This mechanism has been observed before in comets formed within our solar system. What makes this detection noteworthy is that 3I Atlas is interstellar, meaning the material involved formed under conditions very different from those near the Sun. At the same time, the comet has been observed at other wavelengths. Infrared studies have already detected gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. XMM Newton's observations add a complementary perspective by focusing on how the comet's gases interact with the solar environment, rather than simply identifying which molecules are present. X-ray observations provide access to information that is difficult or impossible to obtain using optical or infrared telescopes. While those instruments are effective at detecting dust and heavier molecules, X-rays are especially sensitive to light elements, particularly hydrogen and nitrogen. These elements are central to understanding cometary chemistry and planetary formation, but they are often nearly invisible to traditional observational techniques. Through X-ray emission generated during interactions with the solar wind, scientists can indirectly study their presence and relative abundance. This capability is especially important in the context of interstellar objects. The first known interstellar visitor, 1I slash Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, challenged expectations. It showed no obvious dust coma, yet experienced small, unexplained accelerations as it traveled through the solar system. One proposed explanation was that the object contained exotic ices, such as hydrogen or nitrogen, which could sublimate without producing visible dust. Because Oumuamua is now far beyond observational reach, those ideas could not be tested directly. Comet 3I Atlas offers a clearer opportunity. Unlike Oumuamua, it behaves like a conventional comet, releasing gas and forming a detectable coma. This makes it possible to study its interactions with the solar wind in detail and to examine whether light elements play a significant role in its activity. 
the X-ray emission detected by XMM Newton does not by itself confirm the presence of exotic materials. Instead, it places constraints on the types of atoms involved in the interaction and on their relative contributions. By modeling the intensity, spatial distribution, and evolution of the X-ray glow, scientists can infer which elements are most likely present in the coma. Another important aspect is comparison. Comets formed within the solar system have been observed in X-rays before, and their emission patterns are relatively well understood. Comparing those patterns with the data from 3i Atlas allows researchers to assess whether interstellar comets are chemically similar to solar system comets, or whether they represent a distinct population shaped by different formation environments. If consistent differences are found, it would suggest that planetary systems elsewhere in the galaxy may produce small bodies with chemical properties that differ significantly from those formed near the Sun. The implications of this observation extend beyond a single comet. Interstellar objects are physical samples of other planetary systems, offering rare insight into environments that cannot be studied directly. So far, only three interstellar objects have been confirmed passing through the solar system. This makes every observation particularly valuable. XMM Newton's data on 3EI Atlas contributes to a growing multi-wavelength effort that combines optical, infrared, and X-ray measurements to build a more complete picture of interstellar material. The observation also highlights the expanding role of X-ray astronomy in planetary science. X-ray telescopes were originally developed to study high-energy phenomena such as black holes, neutron stars, and supernova remnants. Their successful use in studying a comet demonstrates how these instruments can also probe low-energy interactions in the solar system and beyond. As 3i Atlas continues its passage through the inner solar system and eventually exits back into interstellar space, continued monitoring may reveal changes in its activity. Variations in gas release and interaction strength could provide further clues about how its composition responds to solar heating. Looking ahead, future sky surveys are expected to detect interstellar objects earlier and more frequently. Earlier detection would allow scientists more time to plan coordinated observation campaigns, potentially making X-ray studies a routine part of interstellar research rather than a rare opportunity. With more examples to compare, researchers will be better equipped to determine whether objects like 3i Atlas are unusual outliers or representative samples of a much larger population of interstellar debris. XMM Newton's X-ray observations of comet 3i Atlas show that interstellar objects can be studied in ways that weren't possible before. By combining X-ray data with other observations, scientists can better understand how material from other star systems behaves. Even brief visitors like this comet can reveal important clues about the wider galaxy. Mm -hmm.